So today I dug into the front of the truck and you can see I've got quite a bit disassembled. Bumpers off, the front plastic clip is off that holds the headlights in place, the grill of course. And I took the inner fender well covers out, which are plastic. And so you can see there's a pretty good hole now. I took the shock absorbers off the front, which were pretty rotten. I'll replace those as well. Um, you can see on the corner here, the, the fenders are rotten um, to a point where I'm going to be replacing the, the fenders. And uh, there's a little bit of rot on the corners of the cab, but I think um, it's still pretty solid. I'm going to wire wheel, get those uh, really cleaned up, and, um, and I'll treat those with some chassis saver and get the rust treated uh, before I paint. So I think there's enough there that I'm really not gonna have to do a lot of extensive repair. The uh, core support is still pretty solid. Um, there's a corner missing down here, which really the only function of that corner is to hold the inner fender. So I can uh, weld a little piece on there, a little tab. And the rest of the core support is in good shape. It's got some surface rust, of course, but um, structurally, I'll cut a little bit of this out and weld uh, some new in. But otherwise, um, down here you can see it's just got some surface rust, which should be easy to um, either sandblast or wire wheel and then paint before I go back in. So uh, disassembly is pretty straightforward. Uh, these trucks are pretty simple. Um, I did a 1976 Chevy years ago, and the, the reason I like these old classic trucks is that they are fairly straightforward. They bolt together, uh, not a lot of welding, and if you need to patch stuff, um, you can kind of isolate the panels that you need to work on, and uh, you don't have to cut into a, uh, uh, a unibody type design where everything is attached to everything. Um, on this side, you can see batteries are out. So I'll take the, the battery trays out, clean those, paint those. Um, so there's a lot of work to do, but uh, overall, I would say I'm, I'm still happy with, uh, with the project, the way it's progressing. And there's nothing here that's uh, overwhelming yet. Um, like I said, fenders will get replaced. I think there's um, there's maybe a couple holes in the doors on the bottom that I can patch. Otherwise, structurally, they are pretty solid. And I would rather um, stay with a stock OEM door anyway, as, uh, as opposed to buying an aftermarket, uh, which are usually Chinese. So there you have it. Um, the plow bracket, I'm gonna take that off as well. I might modify this. Uh, this is for an old Western style design. And I've actually, uh, there's my, uh, there's my 2500 HD Chevy. And that's got a ultra mount for a newer style Western plow, which I currently own. And I might actually just modify this uh, mount here with the new ultra mount brackets. Um, so that I can use my current plow on this truck. So it's getting dark and I'm cleaning up and about to go inside. So um, I made good progress today. The next steps will be to, I'm gonna take the plow bracket off and then the, the core support is gonna come out uh, because I got a little bit of repair, like I said, and I'd like to get that cleaned up and painted. And then I'm gonna get new fenders ordered and on the way and then uh, the hood will come off, doors will come off, and I can start isolating parts uh, so I can clean them up, make repairs as needed, and get ready to shoot uh, all the sheet metal.